Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video, and um, I actually had already made an intro for this video, and I, I cut it because it went too long, and I'm trying to keep it short because I don't want it to be a long video, but all I'm really trying to say here with this intro is, you know, guys, I'm trying to stress, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to claim to be a really good Fortnite player, because that's the exact opposite. I don't claim to be that. What I am is somebody who gets to play Fortnite, you know, I really enjoy the game, but in order for me to really enjoy something, you know, I have to be able to beat it. And so I've actually developed a strategy that allows me to consistently get uh, wins. Um, I play, um, and I actually haven't even been playing a lot of solo lately, um, but, you know, my solo career at one point, I was basically winning 10% of every game, you know, the, out of the games that I played. And that's where it kind of differs from a lot of the uh, kids I play with. And typically anyone is a kid to me who's under 25. But, so if I say kid, it could be anybody. But typically what I've found is kids, um, they don't have any kind of strategy. It's just, you know, get better at combat or get better at, you know, uh, building. And the thing is, like, guys, I'm terrible at both. I'm terrible at building, I'm terrible at the combat, and I still consistently can get my wins. In fact, last week I played uh, three uh, games in a row where I was doing solo squads, and I was trying to just get some challenges done as, as week nine was finishing, or season nine was finishing, and I ended up uh, getting the three solo squad wins in a row. And it's not because I'm the most amazing player of all time, or I'm going to be somebody famous playing in the World Championship. That's this. No, that's never going to happen. I'm just somebody who says, okay, I can't be the best at you know these things, but the thing that I can do is come up with a really good strategy to put myself in a position to win. And so that's what this video is. It's just trying to highlight some of the things that I actually do when I play to put myself in a position to win. So that's what I hope you get out of this. Don't misunderstand. I'm not saying this is how you need to play. I'm not saying that this is how everyone needs to play. I in no way, shape, or form should you do anything in Fortnite if you're not having fun with it. So do whatever it is that you want to have fun. But for me, fun is getting the win. Just getting that dub. That's what I want. And so these, uh, these are the things that I do to kind of give myself a chance to get that dub. So if you're interested, then definitely watch and just try to put some of these things into practice. And I don't go um, super in-depth, but the funny thing is I, I played uh, uh, yesterday and I was talking to one of the guys that I, I play with and he said, you know what, I actually was following your rules and I actually got my first win. So I was like, all right, so I, I at least... It took a long time because he didn't want to listen to me, but I finally got him to where he can understand what it is that I do and how to do it. And if you do these things, you will I guarantee you, eventually, boom, you will get that uh, first win if you don't have any or you'll become more consistent. And so, all right, with that, guys, let's go ahead and end this intro. Go ahead and let's jump in. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm always trying to do whenever I start every game, it's what most people do, is you look at your map and you pick where you're going to go. It, here's real simple 101. If you're trying to get to the end of the game, then what you're not trying to do is get into a ton of fights. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't hot drop, sure you can. If you want to get into every fight possible, hey, there you go. But if you're trying to get better at combat, a better idea is to do hot drops over and over and over and over just to get better at combat. If you're trying to get some of your first wins, the better idea isn't to do hot drop, it's to actually go out as far as you can, get your weapons, and then look for moments of opportunities to get into a fight, but you're not trying to force the fight until the end of the game. That's just, you. so pick your spots, pick where you want to go, but hot dropping, that's a no-no. Um, something else that I've noticed, guys, is it's always about gathering information. I can't tell you how many times I play squads, whether it's random people, whether it's my friends, you know, um, and you know what they're always doing is they're so focused on getting um, loot that they don't pay attention to what's going on around them. 
They aren't looking for a moment of opportunity. They aren't looking for the advantage in a fight. They aren't even looking for the enemy at that at a at a point. What they're doing, what they're looking for, is the next gun, the next gun, the next gun. Like guys, you're not playing an RPG that you're going to be playing in two months, so you need to make sure you check every little nook and cranny. Is get on the ground, get the chest, get some guns, and start moving. If you're still looting after ten minutes into the game you're doing it wrong. In fact, with Fortnite, the games are so quick, if you're doing it after probably five minutes, you need to stop. You need to just, whatever you've got after five minutes, I mean, just try to start implementing this and see how well you start doing. After five minutes, don't focus at all anymore on the enemy, or I'm sorry, on, on uh, chess or looting. Just focus on the enemy and see how, how well you start improving in your game and, and being able to kind of spot and pick out and figure out where people are, etc., etc. I'm telling you, it, it's it's just it's too common for me to be able to sit there and play. I ran back up, by the way, because I was trying to get this guy down. He was knocked, and I knew his buddy was coming back. And then I thought, man, I'm not going to be able to get him. And there he is. I, I couldn't get him. But anyway, he did revive him. I had to take off the... Uh, circle was coming but anyway the point I'm trying to make is quit focusing on the loot quit it quit worrying about the guns who the frick cares get your guns then get into a fight take somebody out and then go and then loot them I mean let other people do the work for you and take the guns off of their corpses I mean that's the better way to go okay guys something else to kind of just st stress here is you know what is your loadout and see for me guys I'm just gonna go real quick through this because you can have any kind of loadout you want but the main thing that you want to have is explosives I'm always gonna have a shotgun I'm gonna have an AR I'm gonna have some kind of scoped weapon whether it's a sniper rifle or a, a gun that a lot of people don't use but they should which is the scope they are um, I will use that a lot uh, in fact I like it over um, some sniper rifles um, it just kind of depends, but at the end of the day, the main thing is explosives. And I highly recommend that you use grenades. The grenade launcher is not going to be the best thing. The best thing, really, more or less, is going to be just the handheld grenades. It is a game changer at the end of a game. I strongly suggest you start using it. Okay, guys, real something real quick and simple and easy to kind of explain that you've always got to be thinking about is just really the map. Um, and let me just kind of stress it to you this way. Um, so, like, for example, you can see where I'm at. It's it's saying I'm outside the circle of the blue, which obviously I'm not. I don't know why it's doing that, but it doesn't matter. So, in fact, I'm, like, right there. Why is that? Okay, who cares? So, the, the point that I'm always trying to make with people is you do not want to be in the center of a circle. You don't even really want to be in the circle. Um, so it's like 25 seconds until the circle comes. So you see where I'm positioned. I am outside of the next circle. And the thing is, if you're coming in, let's say you're coming in from the north. Or like, I'm, I'm coming in this way right here. We'll just go with this. So if I'm coming into the circle, well, here's what I know I don't have to do. I don't have to look behind me because I know there's nobody there. So I really only need to look in this direction, this direction, and this direction. That's it. I've got three directions to look. So pretty much right in front of me, I've got three areas to kind of look in order to be able to see the enemy. If you're in the middle of the circle, or you're really kind of, you know, somewhere, somewhere in there, you have eight directions you have to look. You have to look in eight directions. It's too much. Don't do that to yourself. Always want to be on the outside coming in. You don't want to be on the inside looking out. Hope that makes sense. Okay, guys, so right here, this is going to be kind of getting into sort of the nit and gritty of how I personally like to play the game and how I just sort of my strategy. And my strategy is not about trying to get kills. If that is what you want to do, then definitely don't follow, you know, my guideline on you know how I approach the game and how I play the game and it's 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 not you know if I wanted to go for kills because that's what I would enjoy then that's what I would do what I want what I enjoy is just getting the win it's not about the kills for me so the way that I approach it is to play really really sneaky 
I'm not trying to get into a fight, which doesn't mean I avoid fights. What it means is I'm always looking for the advantage. That's always what I'm trying to do. So, for example, hopping into a bush real quick. I'll just sit there, look around, trying to find, you know, do I see movement anywhere? And that brings me to the next point. This is the thing that I'm always trying to stress, especially to the kids I play with. The more movement you do, the more likely you're going to be seen. It's really, really simple. R guys, this is Fortnite. There's only two things in the entire game that move. People, players, and trees. And that's it. Nothing else. And the trees don't even move. They just sway. But that's the point. So the more movement you do, the more likely you're going to be seen, the more you're giving away your position, and the more you're going to have to get into a fight, and you may not even know that the fight's coming. So if you're trying to play to where you're trying to get to the end of the game, because the end of the game is where you can basically get your win. You're not going to get the victory with 50 people to go. You're going to get it with basically under 20 people, under 10 people, under 5. So in order to get there, you've got to be quiet. And that's just something on how I play. Guys, I understand there are a ton of people out there who are really good at this game. They're so much better than me. So I'm not saying that everyone should play my way, but I know I don't have the advantage in a fight because I'm not that great at combat. I know I don't have the advantage in um, uh, building. I definitely don't have the advantage in building. So where's my advantage? My advantage is in being quiet, being sneaky, and looking for the fight that I know I can get the first shot off and possibly get my opponents down simply because I'm being quieter than they are. They don't know I'm there. I've got the element of surprise. That's my advantage. So I hope that makes sense. I got this guy down really quick. I don't know what his health is at. I don't see his buddy right away, but yeah, his buddy comes over. But anyway... Uh, I pick up the uh, bolt action at this point. I, I swip, sw uh, swept, swapped out the AR for the bolt because these guys, I could see them at that distance. And I knew that this guy had a buddy coming. I just didn't know where he was. Sure's the world, there he is. Yeah, he takes some damage right there. But anyway, uh, we'll just kind of... I could hear this guy coming a mile away. He did not hear me. took way too long to get him down I do know that much so I'm running over because I can hear this gunfire now here's the thing guys if you're playing solo squads the thing to kind of remember is you know you have no advantage because you don't have any teammates so if you can hear a fight going on what you want to do what I was trying to do was rush over to see if I could see who was winning the fight and help the losing team because I will get it <laughs> you know I come out ahead if I can get like the, the the winning team get them down a little bit so, anyway, just to kind of wrap up my points, guys, um, it, 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 sort of the final thing to always stress is the thing that I'm always telling the kids I play with, and this is my most important rule, and it's a rule that applies to any Battle Royale game. Don't give away your position for free. There has to be some kind of reason for it. This is why I avoid getting into vehicles, because they make a ton of noise. And the only advantage I get out of that is I get to my destination quicker. Well, if I can get there on foot and get there quiet, okay, well, that's an advantage. Um, I don't take errant shots. Um, I'm always trying to, you know, make sure... No, man, that, that grenade. But anyway, um, you're always... I'm always trying to make sure that because I'm being quiet, I'm not giving away my position. Not until I'm ready for the fight. Anytime I'm giving away my position, it's like I say, you know, don't give it away for free. You know, don't hang glide in if you can avoid it. Gives off a ton of noise. Don't take an errant shot that you know basically you stand no chance of actually having it hit. Because if that happens, okay, well then you're just wasting your time at that point. Um, don't basically emote, do other things. Okay, you can emote when you win the game, but... You know, if you're doing little things that gives away your position and you don't get anything for it, you're not putting yourself in a position to win. It's that simple. So that's why I just call that, you know, don't give away your position for free. 
If I'm giving away my position, it's because I'm taking a bead down on somebody to get the first shot, and hopefully all of the shots, and I can get them down before they even get a shot back on me. It's a real simple concept, it's a real simple sort of strategy, but again, it's how I approach the game, and I know that's not how everybody approaches the game. So let's go ahead and I'll just kind of highlight a couple other games that I've played here uh, in my little three victory stretch, uh, just to kind of see what else I was doing in those games. Alrighty guys, so in this game, uh, it basically was ending around Shifty Shafts, and uh, basically in this game, not to go into too much into it, I mean, I could see all the chaos that was taking place over on this other side, so that's where I was looking to get my shots, but I actually knew that there was a team that was right over in front of me, and I end up knocking that guy right there. Um, I knew I wasn't going to get him down, his, his teammate was going to get him, but I thought, man, you know, I, the guy was just sticking his head up, it was a good moment to take, <laughs> to take a shot. But the main thing I'm trying to do is, you know, I kind of stressed earlier, if you're doing solo squads, I'm trying to help the team that's losing. So that's what I was trying to do over here, is just take all these uh, errant shots over there. I tried to see if I could get these guys down, I couldn't. Um, I played really sneaky this game, I mean super sneaky. Um, no one was basically taking any shots at me at all this game. Um, these guys over here ignored me, these guys came in, moved up, blah 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 blah, we'll get kind of to the end here. And basically at this point, um, what I had done was um, the team that had been up here, I think they're still up there. Um, it was a squad, there was a two-man squad now um, that was right next to me and then these guys kind of rush them and I can hear these guys right next to me and again I'm just crouched, I'm moving quiet, they don't know I'm there, yada yada yada, we'll fast forward a little bit and now that team has to move in and so here they come and so they're fighting the other team now the thing is they're they, they know that you know there was only six people left and there was three of them so they think that the other team is a set of three so we're, all of a sudden we get down to three people so it's me and two others so I know that it was two teammates so I rush over and I'm trying to th chuck grenades at them and then they put in the most ridiculous gun in the game the combat shotgun and the combat shotgun is what allows me to basically win. I mean, good lord, guys. You got Fortnite devs. You. I mean, I'm glad I got to win the game, but my gosh, the combat shotgun is... You can practically snipe with that gun. It's ridiculous. But anyway, hey, it allowed me to get to win this game. You know, I rushed these guys. I'm chucking grenades. And I just had, like, a good moment because I had health... The other guys did not have their health, and so it basically took one shot on each of them, and I'm able to get the win. So, that was win number two. Alright guys, so this is kind of the last game to look at, and as you can see, you know, all my action basically comes at the end. So, you know, the entire time that I've played, I have implemented my strategy. Be super quiet, you know, move quickly, move quietly, don't give away my position. Um, you know, at this point, um, in this game, um, we had a whole lot of chaos going on, uh, at the final circle. So we had these guys who were fighting over here. There was one guy who had, I, I don't remember what his name was, but he had like 13 kills or 14 kills. I don't know. He's a, a great player, but he got taken out. Like, a, this whole team up here rushes him and takes him out. Um, I don't know what his name is. Who cares? There's enough good players out there. Um, it doesn't really matter. So I've got nobody down at this point. I haven't knocked anybody, anything like that. Now what ends up happening is this team that's up here ends up, they all rush down. There's two teams over here that are fighting. And I'm just sitting there quietly just waiting. Like I'm just waiting and I'm looking for... I end up taking a shot up here, but this team doesn't realize it's me. Um, I don't knock anybody or anything, but basically... Um, this all kind of works out, um, one team takes out the other team, 
and then these guys all move down here and when they do that that's when I spring into action so it's basically one verse three yeah there's me taking that shot those guys didn't know where it came from um, so now they're rushing over one guy rushes over the other two are gonna end up rushing over and when I see them go, that's when I realize, like, okay, now's my opportunity. I've got to try to thin out the herd a little bit. So, you know, I see these guys come down. And that's the other thing. I haven't even touched on this being third person. I can't tell you how many times I watch people I play with. They, they get up way too high. Quit putting yourself so high. Quit it. Excuse me. So anyway, um, so now I've watched all these guys go down. They don't see me, but I see them. I've seen them all go down. So I'm kind of waiting. I can hear the gunshots. Now I spring over and I get one guy right there. Then I get the other guy. So I knock both of them. So now it's basically 1v1 at this point, even though it's still 1 verse 3, because I know where the circle is, and I know where the, <laughs> the next one's coming. So it's like, all right, well, all I have to do is get up there. If I can get to the top, and we'll just watch the other guy. Um, if I can get to the top of the hill, that's what I was trying to do. And this guy was doing his best. I mean, he did a good job in building and getting up to the top. He did a really good job with that. But unfortunately for him, I had two things. I had explosives, and I also had uh, a combat shotgun. And that's apparently all you need to have in order to win the game. Um, and it's what I had. So, the guy does a good job in building. He just kind of keeps building, but I've already damaged him. And at this point, it's just too late. He can't get to me. And I'm already doing my conga dance. I'm super excited. Three wins in a row. Solo squads. Am I a great player? No. 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 Let me stress again. No. By no stretch of the imagination. You shouldn't watch me and expect me to be somebody you should model your game after. There's better players than me to model your game after. The only thing you can do is understand that getting a win is not going to be that difficult if you start implementing the little tiny things that will allow you to get to the end of the game that will allow you to actually win the game it's not about being the best player it's about being the player in the best position that's all i'm ever trying to do put myself in the best position to give myself the best chance to actually win because that's how i have fun Alrighty guys, so, you know, uh, I appreciate it and I hope you've enjoyed this black and white uh, video. I'm, I'm going noir. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but uh, that's what I've been basically kind of streaming lately is just black and white, just to be different and stupid. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how dumb and stupid anybody is, uh, all that matters is play the game, play the game that you want, play the game just to have fun. Because guys, trust me, I took PUBG way too serious. And I ended up quitting because I didn't have fun. And I play Fortnite because it's fun. So if you're not getting the wins and you want to try to get to some of these wins, then try my ideas. See if it doesn't work out for you. But at the end of the day, don't do anything that you don't want to do if it's not fun. So, alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time. See ya!